This is activity two, telling temperatures, and also includes a running problem that covers distances. This is from lesson one, number puzzles, and unit four, linear equations and linear systems. And this is a revised version of this activity. In this activity, you are to solve two puzzles, the first of which has to do with temperature. And we know that the temperature starts out as being very cold. So I'm gonna draw an arrow I'm going to start at zero. I'm going to draw an arrow to the right. Now, I don't know the length of that arrow, and I actually don't know the direction. I'm just going to choose to start out with an arrow drawn to the right. But then we know that the temperature doubles. So this is, if this is x, then this temperature here is going to be two times that, so 2x. The temperature then drops by 10 degrees, so it gets 10 degrees colder. So on the number line, that's 10 units to the left, so this is a negative 10 degrees. That gets added on, and then the temperature increases by 40 degrees. Well, if this is 10 units, then 40 units is gonna be four of those. One, two, three, four, but it moves in the positive direction. So this is a positive 40 degrees, and we know that the temperature ends at a positive 16 degrees. So now we can work backwards from here. We know that to get to a positive 16 degrees, 40 degrees was added. So we have to take away that 40 degrees. So a positive 16 plus a negative 40 degrees is a negative 24 degrees. So now we're at a negative 24 degrees. We know that to get to negative 24 degrees, the temperature dropped by 10 degrees. So we have to add this 10 degrees back. So it's a negative 24 plus a positive 10 degrees that equals a negative 14 degrees. And we know to get to negative 14, the temperature doubled. So that negative 14 degrees then gets divided by two, that equals negative seven degrees. And so the starting temperature was actually negative seven degrees. So here is zero degrees. And so I chose the wrong direction to start with. I went to the right but the direction actually gets colder below zero. So it actually starts at negative seven degrees. And then that negative seven degrees doubles to negative 14 degrees. Then it drops by negative 10, adds 40 degrees, and ends up at a positive 16 degrees. So now I wanna do is redraw this, but add some numbers as we're moving along. So I'm gonna start at zero. I'm going to move in the positive direction. I know that's incorrect because I know the answer now starts at negative seven degrees, but I'm going to start this way anyway. Doubles, drops by 10 degrees, increases by 40 degrees, and ends at a positive 16 degrees. So now let's add some numbers to this. So the final temperature. So it's a positive 16 degrees minus 40 degrees. We have to take that 40 degrees away. That equals a negative 24 degrees. So now we're at a negative 24 degrees. We have to add that 10 degrees back. So now we're at negative 14 degrees. And this temperature, negative 14 degrees, is the result of the beginning temperature doubling. So we have to take half of negative 14 degrees. That's a negative seven degrees and the starting temperature is negative seven degrees. So if we go up here, and from this point, I'm going to move 14 units to the right. So this is five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 units to the right, I'm gonna start at negative seven degrees, then that doubles to negative 14 degrees, and now the arrow diagram reads correctly at negative 10 degrees, added to negative 14 degrees is negative 24 degrees. Negative 24 degrees increases by 40 degrees and ends at a positive 16 degrees. So now I'd like to include some algebra. So the beginning temperature now we know is negative seven degrees. So that's gonna be X. We don't know that value yet, but now I'm gonna draw it correctly and I'm gonna call it X. So then that temperature doubles, that's two X. Then we add a negative 10 degrees, add a positive 40 degrees, and the temperature ends at positive 16 degrees. So now algebraically to work backwards, we have to take that positive 16 degrees 
and you have to add a negative 40 degrees, that's the same as removing this positive 40 degrees. So it's a 40 degree increase. So add a negative 40 degrees to decrease the temperature by those 40 degrees. And now we're at a negative 24 degrees right here. Remember the temperature dropped by 10 degrees, so you have to add back those 10 degrees algebraically. So 10 degrees plus a negative 10 degrees is zero. And a negative 24 plus a positive 10 degrees is now we're at negative 14 degrees. So we've gone from negative 24 to negative 14. And that's 2x. So 1x is going to be half of this negative 14. So negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. So this negative 14 is 2x divided by 2, or divided into two equal parts. So one of those parts is going to be negative 7. So x is equal to negative 7. And remember, we ended at a positive 16 degrees right here. So started at negative 7 degrees and ended at positive 16 degrees. Actually, I'd like to think of the starting point as 0 degrees, and the first step is to add a negative 7 degrees. The second puzzle is about four runners, Lynn, Diego, Jada, and Noah. And in this puzzle, you are given Noah's run. Noah runs for 1,200 meters. And Jada's run is related to Noah. Diego's run is related to Jada. And Lynn's run is related to Diego. So you can work backwards. You can figure out what Jada's run is based on Noah's run. You can figure out what Diego's run is based on Jada's run. And you can figure out what Lynn's run is based on Diego's run. Before making a drawing of this problem and solving algebraically, you can actually reason through what the answer is. So we know that Noah ran 1,200 meters and Jada ran one-third that distance. Well, 1,200 divided by 3 is 400 meters. So Jada ran 400 meters. And we also know that Diego ran 300 meters farther than Jada. Well, Jada ran 400 meters. That means that Diego ran 700 meters. 400 plus 300 equals 700 meters. And finally, we know that Lynn ran twice as far as Diego. So Diego ran 700 meters. 2 times 700 is 1,400 meters for Lynn's run. So now let's draw an arrow diagram. Start at 0. I'm going to draw an arrow and label that Diego's run. And Lynn ran twice as far as Diego. So Lynn's out here. And Jada ran 300 meters less than Diego. So Diego ran 300 meters more than Jada. So that means that Jada ran 300 meters less than Diego. So I'm going to call each one of these squares 100 meters, although I don't know where Diego's distance is just yet. Jada is 300 meters less than Diego. And we know that Noah ran three times farther than Jada, because Jada ran one-third the distance that Noah ran. That means that Noah ran three times farther than Jada. So one time, two times, three times. So Noah is out here at 1,200 meters. So now we can work backwards, just like we talked through just a moment ago. Jada ran one-third the distance that Noah ran. So one-third of 1,200, or 1,200 divided by that 3 is equal to 400 meters. Diego ran 300 meters farther than Jada. So 400 meters that Jada ran plus 300 meters is equal to 700 meters for Diego. And Lynn ran twice as far as Diego. So 2 times Diego's run is 2 times that 700 meters equals 1,400 meters. So writing out a little bit of algebra, I'm going to make Diego x. So it says that Lynn ran twice as far as Diego. So if Diego is x, that makes Lynn 2x, two times as far. Jada ran 300 meters less than Diego, or Diego ran 300 meters farther than Jada. So Jada ran 300 meters less than Diego. Remember, Diego's x, and Noah ran three times farther than Jada. So remember that Jada ran one-third the distance of Noah. That means that Noah ran three times farther than Jada. So x minus 300 is Jada. 
three times that is 1,200 meters. So we get an equation that three times x minus 300, so x minus 300 is Jada's run, three times that is equal to Noah's run, 1,200 meters. So divide this by three, x minus 300 is now equal to 400 meters. So 1,200 divided by three is that 400. Add 300 meters to Jada's run, that's gonna give you Diego's run. So 400 plus the 300 meters farther that Diego ran. So Diego's run is 700 meters and Lynn ran twice that far. So 2x is equal to 1,400 meters. So again, x equals 700 meters, 2x equals 1,400 meters, x minus 300, 400 meters, and three times Jada's run, or three times x minus 300, is equal to 1,200 meters. Now some students like to draw a tape diagram. So I'm gonna draw a tape diagram, same thing. And start out with Diego's run. Don't know how long to make this diagram, but I'm just gonna choose this length, double it to get Lynn's run. Jada's run is 300 meters less than Diego. So I'm gonna remove these 300 meters from Diego's run. So this is Jada's run right here. So this is Diego minus 300 is Jada, and three times Jada's run is Noah's run, 1,200 meters. So three times Jada equals 1,200 meters. That means that Jada is 400 meters. 1,200 divided by three is 400. So Jada is 400 meters. That makes Diego 700 meters. And Lynn is two times farther than Diego or 1,400 meters. Now there is a problem with this drawing in that Noah ran 1,200 meters and Lynn ran 1,400 meters. But in the drawing, Noah is farther out here. So it looks like Noah ran farther than Lynn, but we know that Lynn actually ran 200 meters farther than Noah. So this drawing should be adjusted so to show that Lynn's run is farther than Noah's run. We got the same thing with the arrow diagram. Lynn's run is right here at 1,400 meters. This is Noah at 1,200 meters but Lynn should actually be 200 meters farther than Noah. So I'm gonna adjust these drawings and draw them to scale. The scale for this drawing is right here. So this distance right here is 100 meters. So the side of this rectangle. So that makes Noah 12 of those units. So 12 times 100 is 1,200 meters. So Jada, is one third Noah's distance. So this is 400 meters, 100, 200, 300, 400. And that's 1,200 meters divided by three are these 400 meters. And Diego ran 300 meters farther than Jada. So 100, 200, 300 meters farther. And so Diego's run equals 700 meters. And Lynn ran twice that far. So two times 700 is 1,400 meters. 2 times 700 equals 1,400 meters for Lynn, and Lynn's run is 200 meters farther than up here Diego's run. So now it makes sense.